there is holy work in finding the people who will go out and uh, live in and love in the Jewish communities. Everybody knew I was going to go to cantorial school before I did. I had had an inkling for a while that I wanted to go to cantorial school, but it was something that was like on the back burner of the back burner. When, when we met, Jessica was deciding between being a synagogue executive director yeah. and being a cantor. Both of those jobs are pretty hard, um, but she is an exceptional musician. And I remember when I was deciding to go to cantorial school, my sort of thought process was I wanted something that combined my loves of Judaism and learning and music. And I definitely saw that in her. I slowly gave Jessica these opportunities to do things musical, administrative, and otherwise. Um, she's really good at them. She is an empathetic person, which makes her the right kind of person to do pastoral work and not just musical work. Um, and since I already knew that she had, you know, even if it was on the back burner of the back burner, she had this idea that cantorial school might be a good idea. Um, I talked a lot about my experience in cantorial school, hoping that it would sound appealing to her. <laughs> it worked. It did work. For me, I've realized that I am a product of pluralistic Judaism. I got most of my Jewish education uh, through Oberlin Hillel, and I had friends there who came from conservative backgrounds, some who came from Reform backgrounds, a few from Orthodox backgrounds, and I sort of took all of their traditions together as my own. I knew that Hebrew College was going to be a good fit because I could become the cantor that I wanted to be. I didn't have to fit into a very specific box of a movement. I think all the institutions are wonderful and that they, they're, they're a good fit for certain people, but I knew the second I walked into Hebrew College during Tashma back in November that this, this was it for me. Jessica was an amazing asset to our organization. Everybody knows how sad I am to lose her, <laughs> and this is the only good excuse. The most important thing about this time in your life when you're in school is to enjoy every minute of it and never be bored and never think that something someone saying to you is superfluous because every time someone said something to me which was prefaced by oh you might never need this but or you might never use this but you should know or this only happened once in my career I've been in the pulpit for three years and I've had them all.